Okay, so I really need to step it up because uh, my test is in like two hours. So now we'll go into replication. The things that you need for replication are, um, we'll go with the enzymes. There's like five or six of them. Um, mainly you need to remember the um, HPGLP. H being the HeLa case, which is um, the one that opens up the double-stranded DNA ahead of the replication fork. And um, P is, of course, the primase is responsible for bringing the primer that will have, um, it's always an RNA primer, that will have a sequence of nucleotides that will allow the, you know, the polymerase to attach on and replicate. So you always need um, the RNA primer, the RNA primer. So, and then the G refers to gyrase, which is the uh, enzyme that temporarily breaks the double bound in um, the double strands of DNA to release the you know the tension. As you know, the strand is being opened and replicated. Mm, R refers to ligase that will come after you know everything is done and bind the two um, well actually ligase is only used in the laying strand which is the strand that doesn't go towards the um, replication fork is the one that goes away and it's the one that's replicated in little segments so ligase will just come in and kind of bind the two fragments of DNA together and you know it's kind of forming like phosphodiester bonds so, and then, you know, you have like the all important polymerase. Um, there's actually two kinds of them, is polymerase 3 and polymerase 1. So polymerase 3 is the big one that basically does the work of actually replicating the DNA. And uh, polymerase 1 is the, um, the one that's used on the legging strand mostly. So after these little um, fragments are formed, um, the polymerase one will come in and just kind of replace the RNA primer with a um, the DNA basis, and then you know the ligase comes in. Okay, so that's HPGLP. Which you need to remember. Oh, and also replication differences between the two. In prokaryotes, the replication actually goes bi-directionally so you have one going this way and you got one going that way because the structure of prokaryotes is that it's a ring of double-stranded DNA and of course the um, DNA for prokaryotes is just unidirectionally because it's just one that just opens up so it just goes whoosh. okay so um, that's one of the main differences also of course there are other differences um, of course, prokaryotes are much faster about replication than we are. They're about 10 times as fast. They could do it about 200 to 50 bases per second, whereas in us, it's only 20 to 50. And um, their Okazaki segments are much longer than us, about 700 to 1,000. Ours is only 100 to 150. And um, Okay, and of course we have our telomeres added on, um, telomere reasons, um, okay, so, let's see, that is about it, the three main differences, directional, directionality, the rate of replication, the length of the Okazaki segments are much, much more differently. So, what exactly do you need again for, you know, the, um, replication? Mm, you need the templates, DNA of course. You need all the enzymes I just said. You need the, um, nucleotides, which is DATP, DTTP, DGTP, and DCTP. Um, sometimes you also need magnesium, um, RNA, protein factors. So, a bunch of things that you'll be needing. <laughs>